So I have a question for all the hot single men out there. Where are you? No, seriously, where are you? Because you're not out at the weekends. You're not in some quaint little coffee shop reading a book, being all sex and mysterious. You're not on Hinge or Bumble. You are certainly not on Tinder. So where are you? Where is your location? My phone has never been so dry. My phone is drier than the grit the UK government are not using to grit the roads and pavements this winter. That's how fucking dry my phone is. Like, do you all just group together and go live in some far off island in the middle of nowhere? It would make fucking sense by this point. I could not tell you the last time I met a guy who was really attractive funny, had the personality of more than a fucking teaspoon. So where are you? Help a gal out this festive season. Drop your location. I can't be the only single gal feeling this way. There's not even options at this point. So please, do us a favor. Let us know where you are. Thanks, hon. I'm sure there are plenty of good looking guys, but they are not interested in you. They've probably already found their fun buddies this winter and you are left alone on the sidelines hoping to find one as well. Maybe you'll meet a random chad who will smash and pass you during the weekend since you are so desperately looking for one. She's that desperate. Tell a man you don't want something serious and watch him put in 1 million percent effort. The thing about men, right, is they need their egos to be stroked. So if you're sitting there telling a man that you don't want anything serious, to them it is a challenge, it's a game, right? Because why would she not want me? I'm going to literally treat her the best she's ever been treated before. And then she's going to want me. And that's exactly what they do. I have been literally bought appliances, I've been taken to spas, I've been taken out, I've had clothes bought for me. You name it, I've had it. More effort from someone I don't want something serious with than someone that I actually do want something serious with. People want what they can't have, basically. So the next person you want to be serious with, just tell them that you just don't want something serious and watch him put in the maximum effort. If her strategy works so well, why is she still single? The reality is, when she tells simps she is not interested in them, they start to simp for her more. She seems to think that if she tells chads that she is not interested, they will suddenly start simping for her. I can tell her this right now. As soon as she tells Chad and Tyrone she is not interested, they will either move on or try to smash her and then leave afterwards without committing to her. So in the end, nothing will change. She is just using this ridiculous logic to make herself feel better about the fact that she's single and she can't get Chad to commit to her but she can get simps to buy her stuff. Taking advantage of a simpleton. My name is Annie, and I just spent the last nine months of my life in a very narcissistic, abusive relationship. This beautiful, charming, stunning, funny man walked into my life who I had already known for a while and painted me this gorgeous picture of what my life could look like if I joined him and I guess you just can't see it all the time. It's not always bad. And you wake up nine months later and you're so isolated. You realize you haven't left the house. You haven't met with any friends. You don't have any friends. You haven't talked to your family in months. Your bank account's clean. And there's not much left of you, but just a shriveled up shell. So I don't wish that on anyone. So. This guy's name is Aaron. He is tall, dark, and handsome. He is foreign and gorgeous and funny. And he will make you believe you are the most perfect, special thing and no one's ever amounted to you. So if you're on Hinge, Bumble, and you think you may have met him, um, due to reasons of just respect that I don't understand how I still have left, it's just who I am. If you think you've met him um, and you're unsure, please just privately message me and we can go from there. I personally do not condone his behaviour and I think men who treat women like that are out of control. But I would like to emphasise 
how she described him. She describes him as the ultimate Chad, the dream hunk that is out of this world and who treated her like a princess. I can guarantee you if he was an average looking guy who treated her like a princess, he would get nowhere with her. When these women make excuses and compromises for Chad's, they put up with the most horrendous crap and in the end, they end up getting destroyed. After this, she will either blame all men or end up with a beta box male and rely on him to pick up the pieces because she has now become an alpha widow. She can't repair the damage.